giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Just for some statistics for the top 25. <laughs> so Justin and I were going through some like old, old FRC top 25 stuff. And I found a slide like this and I was like, hey, that'd be, um, I don't think we've done it recently. So um, these are just some stats for the, the top 25 teams that we have here. So 90, in, and then, so the week seven, kind of, which is um, the Houston champs is this week. So 97 different teams were on um, the list on the FRC top 25 this year. That may change next week with the Detroit the Detroit um, list, but 97 different teams, which um, Justin, we switched um, a little while ago um, to you know only voting for teams that competed in that week. I think that was one of the best things we've ever done. Mm -hmm. And so these 25 teams played a total of 1,216 matches. The, the win percentage was 81.83%. Um, so the average was 48.6 um, matches uh, per team this season so far. Um, combined for 17 district wins, 25 regional wins, six district championship um, winners in this list, uh, 10 finalist appearances, nine semifinalists, one quarterfinalist. So that's just a... Uh, a list of you know everything that these teams have done uh, combined this season. So uh, I thought that was pretty interesting and uh, just really really cool to see that the average was about 50 matches per team this year. And um, I think that's like, you know as we always say a great um, you know from from district play and all that. But um, very cool. So I think with no further ado, Justin, are you ready? I am ready. All right, man. Let's do it. So um, starting us off here in the 25 in the 25th spit. 25th spot for the Houston Championships is going to be 1477. From Conroe, Texas, College Park High School, it's the Texas Torque, 29 and 15 and 3 overall, and we're the finalists at the Channel View District event. So the 2013 World Champs have struggled a little bit this year, uh, still looking for their first robot blue banner of the season after picking up the Chairman's Award at the Del Rio District event. Uh, their best event of the season was Del Rio, where they were the number one seed, but unfortunately ran into, into some robot communication issues in the semifinals uh, that kept them advancing any further. But I watched some of their match videos um, in preparation for this. When they're on and playing well, they really do look strong. Um, so not a... Uh, a great year from their standards so far, but they qualified for the championship and they'll be ready to compete on the ho hopper division in Houston. So good luck to Texas Torque. So not, not, we talked about them a lot, Mike, in years past, they've been a staple in the top 25, not their strongest year so far, but I'm right. sure they'll be ready in Houston. Yeah. And um, you know, it's that Texas, that Texas play is, is hard, especially now in yeah. district. And um, you know, n not quite the season we're used to seeing from Texas Torque yet, but um, still the biggest stage to go. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll see them, uh, yeah, keep it going. And when you talked about 1470s, um, all these things we, I'm sure we talked about in the, uh, Houston, uh, preview. And I, I did come down a little bit on 1477. Um, you know, I, somebody asked in regards to them being a top tier bot. I don't think they're quite there. Uh, I think, uh, can they get there? Yes. Um, but in a division, not quite sure if I'll see, if we'll see them in the, uh, kind of top four or something like that, but I think they could be a good value on the way back around in the alliance sure. selection. Yep. Yeah, I was really surprised to see they did not get picked at the the Texas uh, District Championship. Yeah, so me too. Yeah, that was uh, that was really surprising. Mm -hmm. Agreed. All right, moving on to the twenty fourth ranked team is another Texas team, thirty eight forty seven. From Houston, Texas, St. Agnes Academy and Straight Jesuit College Preparatory School, it's Spectrum. An overall record of 43, 12, and 1, and, and they were the winners of the El Paso District event. So three-time top 25 appearances this year for Spectrum. They started the season off with a win at the El Paso District event. They would take a finals medal to the tough 33-10-2468 uh, alliance in Greenville um, and would play at the FIT District Championship a couple weekends ago. Um, here they would be selected the number three alliance and would defeat the 2468-118 alliance in the semis, uh, but lose to that number one alliance in the finals. Uh, Spectrum finished the season ranked fifth in fit, um, which is really, you know, obviously really good um, in that tough, um, dense field that Texas has. Um, Roebling it will be for them, um, where they will share with fellow Texas, get this, they'll be in Roebling with fellow Texas teams 148, 231, 1296, 3366, 4610, 4639, 5411, 5427, 6901, and 7492. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten Texas teams wow. or 11 with Spectrum in the Roebling wow. division. Uh, so kind of a little Texas invasion um, there in Roebling. So um, good luck to them as they compete this weekend in Houston. And congratulations. Three-time appearances. This yeah, year. I, I think that Spectrum is really kind of – picked up their play this year, almost kind of fill in the hole that maybe uh, Texas Torque left a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, 3847 is, again, one of those kind of 
I don't want to say fringe teams, but a team that's, you know, maybe struggles a little bit to get the recognition that they certainly deserve in Texas. But they've had a phenomenal year so far. Um, it'll be awesome to watch them in Roebling, which, as you pointed out, is uh, the Texas division. <laughs> yeah. It's kinda like, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, no, no small feat at, you know, at the first in Texas championships, taking down both 2468 and 118s yeah. uh, in Absolutely. the semifinals. And and while uh, the finals, in my opinion, weren't really close, I think, you know, the number one alliance just pretty much dominated that. Uh, but great strategy, uh, obviously, uh, from a spectrum of their alliance partners. And I think that, that speaks a lot moving the championships. Yeah, I mean, the ring fifth in, ring fifth in Texas behind 148, 3310, 2468, 118, then Spectrum. You know, like, yeah. uh, we talk about Spectrum a lot year after year, and um, it's just showing why. You know, they're just really, um, really good this year. Anybody who's willing to powder coat the robot white is good in my book. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And another one coming right up. Mike's going to pull double duty here in the 23rd spot and talk about Team 359. From Waialua, Hawaii, and Waialua Intermediate and High Schools, it's the Hawaiian Kids with an overall record of 60 and 8. They were the three-time regional winners of the Canadian Pacific, Hawaii, and Canadian Rockies regionals. So starting the season way back at Del Mar with a, um, a semifinal outing, 359 had just been unstoppable since. Two number one seeds after qualification matches for them, three number one alliances, three regional wins. Two of them in Canada. So I was kind of wondering if um, they're going to be applying for dual citizenship soon. But um, <laughs> So crazy the resiliency of this team. They just have so much travel throughout the season. Um, as we heard and saw, robots not showing up to competition, missing some matches, uh, but still coming on top, out on top uh, amongst all of that. So uh, we just love watching this team year after year. Um, we love talking about this team after year. Um, we're all friends with um, Glenn Lee on Facebook, just seeing mm -hmm. what they do in the community, um, the sponsors that they bring in, and the tens of thousands of dollars worth. Um, it's just it's just awesome. We love the Hawaiian kids and. Um, they'll be in the Roebling division, and their last Einstein appearance was in 2015. Um, so we'll see if they can get back there. So good luck to them. One thing to mention about 359, you know, uh, I think their robot in many cases isn't getting the recognition uh, because they did play at, a, at, at arguably re weaker regionals. But something I just want to mention besides the robot is you look at a team like 359, that's a Hall of Fame team, and people who argue that uh, Hall of Fame teams, oh, they might, you know, fizzle out after a few years. Man, 359 just continually, they, they never stopped. Right, yeah. they yeah. continue no. to do what they do, uh, and absolutely phenomenal. See, and their and their robot this year has obviously performed extremely well. Uh, Mike, as you mentioned, if you haven't heard, uh, at their last event they went to, which was the I always forget Rockies, it was the Rockies. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, their robot showed up 20 minutes before opening ceremonies, and they played in match one, and and the crate had water damage and stuff too. Yeah. Like, wow. I mean, the, the show up. I mean, they had a couple of regionals under their belt, which definitely I think probably helps, but. Uh, you know, the show up and then just continually just dominate and, and rock the regional uh, looked awesome. I mean, 16 and 0 at the Canadian Rockies regional, and you showed up with a robot 20 minutes before opening <laughs> ceremonies. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. That's absolutely insane. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and it's just like, well, we just talked about how 2468 and 118 went down, you know, and fit. And you would never would have, like, guessed that. It's just, we've seen how many high, you know, we just talked about a, it was in Clips of the Week last week, a 16 beat. Three, two, and one, you know, to mm -hmm. take the win. So um, there is some merit to those quote weaker regionals. We have talked about that last week a little bit, but the way this game sometimes has been playing is, you know, doesn't doesn't mean as much I think as in years past. But agreed. It's also I just want to point out one more thing about three fifty nine. There, you know, three fifty nine and three sixty eight Kikamana are um, kind of legacy Hawaiian teams. The mm -hmm. next lowest ranked Hawaiian team that I could find was twenty ninety. So mm. for years, it was just 359, 368, and a lot of the, all of the growth on, uh, you know, in that state can be attributed to the dedication that those two teams put in to growing first, and now they have a Hawaii regional and all that stuff. So, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. 359 went into the Hall of Fame in 2011, and they have not stopped no. um, in any sense since then. No, so either they, side of it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. <clears throat> all right. Is this, this is you again? Oh, wait, where are we? I got lost. All right, we're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> All right, so our 22nd ranked team is going to be team number 1102. From Augusta, Georgia, Aiken and Richmond County Public Schools, it's Macon Magic, 32-16-1 overall, and we're the finalists of the Peachtree District State Championship. After earning number two and number seven seeds during the qualification matches at their district events, but struggling to make it to the finals, 1102 again ranked second at the PCH Championship and led the number two alliance uh, comprised of 1746 and 7427 all the way to the finals. The alliance fell short, uh, but 1102 showed what they can do and will be playing at the get in the Galileo division at 
the Houston Championship. So good luck to 1102 Making Magic and a team we haven't really talked about too much this year. No, not at all. Um, when I was, you know, I saw that was your your write up, and I was like, oh, Making Magic. We haven't we've talked about them before, but it hasn't been, hasn't been recent. And um, oh, I had it as a note. I think there's three teams. They might all be Peachtree teams um, that are new to this week. Um, that have not made it on the top 25 this season yet. So um, I think 1102 is one of them, and I think there's two others, um, and I think they're both from from Peachtree. But yeah, and, and we've been pretty open that you know Peachtree is obviously an underrepresented area. It doesn't get a lot of love a lot of times. Um, you know, similar to like a, like a Chesapeake in North Carolina, and I think that area just there's not a whole lot of attention there, and it's it's great to see that they are starting to get some of the attention. And uh, 1102 and a couple other teams leading the charge on that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, quite. I got lost again. No, we're good. <laughs> we're so good. Pretty, producer Nick setting us straight in the background. Right? Yeah, <laughs> he, he, he always, always does. It's like waiting. Like, if there's a little bit of dead air, I'm just like, he's going to yell at us. I know it. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's All much right. appreciated, Nick. Thank it you. is. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 100%. You should, if, you're, if you're ever confused or interested why we appreciate him so much, go watch some of the really early FC Top 25 <laughs> oh, brutal. episodes. He keeps us on track. Uh, all right, so in the 21st spot, we have Team 3657. From San Diego, California, and Torrey Pines High School, it's the Millennium Falcons with an overall record of 44-11-1. They were three-time regional winners, another one back-to-back -back for me, uh, Del Mar, San Diego, and Idaho. Um, so maybe a little underrated, like 359, third time um, on the top 25 for the Millennium Falcons. Uh, three regional wins, um, and all they got was this number 21 sticker. <laughs> so... Uh, I really like this robot and some other banners, but um, so I really like this robot a lot. They have that kind of dual sided intake that spins uh, vertically to get in position. They also have a ground pickup for, um, uh, I mean, I'm, I wasn't just say hatches, but uh, maybe a cargo. Yeah, the way they pick them up is um, pretty unique too. So, really uniquely designed um, and executed, well done. Um, to them. They'll be in the rolling division this year, uh, and only the second time they have t attended championships since 2011 um, when oh. they started, which I kind of find that bizarre. Um, I don't know if Justin feels the same way, but I just feel like we've talked about Millennium Falcons a lot, but to only be going to championship twice in the last like nine years kind of just looked, seemed odd when I, when I found that out. So, um, so good luck to them. Again, they'll be in the rolling division, and uh, that's the Millennium Falcons here at number 21. I think I made a mistake also. I think I said 3657. It's 3647. Oh, I typed it in the blue lines. I was like, wait, this is the team. <laughs> I think I made the same thing when I was looking them up. So, so maybe yeah. that's why. Uh, I probably never fixed it. That's probably what it was. Uh, yeah. Eugene says in chat, by the way, this is the first year that uh, 3647 won a judged award oh. or won any award. Really? What? Wow. That's that's insane. It's, it's if, true. I mean, I. Go to their Blue Lines page and hit history. It's I mean, just, I, I, Eugene runs the Blue Line, so I hope he'd be right. <laughs> it's just empty. That's that's absurd. Wow. wow. Well, they turned it around this year, and good for them. Yeah, right. <laughs> Industrial design, two excellence in engineering awards, uh, and three regional wins, and a dean's list. So, so that, where, it's not a bad haul. I'm kind of embarrassed to ask. Where is this history button that you're talking about? Because <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Justin, you're muted. Uh, Justin, it, mute. Love it. If you click the drop down on their, all their seasons, history is the top one. So it'll be above oh, the 2019 season. I did season. not know that was a thing. Yeah, it's pretty Thank cool. Thank you. That is pretty cool. That, yeah. that, is so, that is so crazy. Yeah, I mean, the only one they had before was a 2016 offseason. Yeah, what? isn't that nuts? Wow. That is absolutely insane. Hmm. But, but by the way, make sure you go to bluelines.com for all your great stats because we love the blue lines. So <laughs> we do absolutely. We've been using it for years for this. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. So that was our twenty-first spot with thirty-six forty-seven. Um, Justin's going to tell us about our twentieth ranked team, and that's thirty-three oh nine. From Anaheim, California, Rosary High School. It's the Friar Bots, thirty-three seventeen and one overall, and we're the finalists at the Los Angeles and Las Vegas regionals. 33 or 9 might hold uh, the distinction of all the teams going to Houston has played the most finals matches this season. In just two events, they've played seven finals matches, pushing their Immortal Alliance to the brink in L.A. and Las Vegas. Uh, in L.A., they push it to four finals matches, uh, including one tie. And this, this past week, there was a five somewhere. Um, there was five finals matches that JVM posted on Chief Delphi. But for uh, Michigan, yeah, Michigan State Championship, mm -hmm. there was... 
uh, five true ties. So they went all the way through all the, you know, the six level tiebreakers and were still um, dead tied. But um, 3309, twice in Los, uh, in Los Angeles and Las Vegas, pushed the number one alliance to the brink. Their sideways elevator with cargo and hatchback opposing each other is quick and efficient. The firebots might not be, or they might be a top seed. Um, but they won't last long in the Lions selection Saturday morning if they are not. You can catch them in the Carver Division at the Houston Championship. And good luck to 3309, the Friar Bots. So at the Las Vegas Regional, uh, which we're seeing here, 3309 declined the number two seed, uh, the Captain Earl Alliance, and then they uh, went on to win. So definitely, I think they, they knew a little bit what they were doing because I think some people were surprised uh, when they did that. Uh, 3309 to me, I, I think where they are is pretty appropriate. I don't think they're a top tier team, but I think they're a solid tier two team. And I think they can bring a lot of value uh, to an alliance as well. A little bit of consistency issues on their end. Uh, so I'm looking to see that hopefully they get that locked down because when they do cycle and they cycle well, they do have very fa fast cycles and their intake for their cargo is very good. Uh, so if they can get their consistency down, I, I do expect big things um, from 3309. It'll be interesting to see uh, how they end up seeding uh, just based on, on that. And hopefully they get their climber consistently working too. Cool. Yeah, the, when I was watching their matches, the, their climber was kind of the one thing. And I was like, eh, a little bit about. But mm -hmm. um, but their elevator and their cargo and uh, hatchback does look really strong. So it'll be interesting to see um, how they can do in the carver division. All right, moving on. Mike is going to talk about Team 1746. From Cumming, Georgia, and Forsyth Central High School, it's Otto. With an overall record of 33-26, and 26, they were the winners of the Forsyth District event. So our Peachtree voters showed up this week and elected Otto um, to their first 2019 uh, first seat Top 25 appearance. They have three district events, making it to the finals twice. Um, I think it's two silvers, one gold. Um, and finished 12th after qualification matches at the Peachtree District Championship. They would be selected second overall and would take the final medal home at this event. They finished the season ranked fourth in their district and will be headed into the Carver Division um, to keep up their successful season. Three out of the last um, five years they've been in Carver, um, which um, 340 was on Newton, I think, for like, what was it, Justin, like five or six years straight or something. Yeah. something crazy. Um, so this is a team who really is benefiting from district play prior to districts. I think for Peachtree was like 15 or 16. They would kind of just play one regional a year, which was the Peachtree regional. Um, and for several years they did that. So it's teams like this who are really excelling through district play and district, um, district events. And uh, um, here they are at number 19. So congrats to Otto. All right. Peach tree represent Justin says, for sure. Like, I like how you started that one. They, we kind of talked about last year or last week. We had a couple peach tree teams like, yeah, this is awesome. And mm -hmm. like you said, they really showed up and got the yeah, got did. their teams in. We always say the key to getting your your teams on this list is to actually vote. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing we recommend. Yeah. Can't All right. If you don't no. vote. That's right. All right. So our 18th ranked team is going to be 364. From Gulfport, Mississippi, Gulfport High School, it's Team Fusion, 29-2 and two overall, and one of the winners of the Rocket City and Bayou Regionals. So two events this season for 364, two blue banners and only two losses this season. 364's strongest performance was from the top spot at the Bayou Regional, where they put together an alliance that easily won all their eliminations matches going 6-0. and oh. It was a similar performance to the Rocket City event, where they also went perfectly through the elimination round. So 364 really knows how to win in the qualification round. They know how to put together an alliance, and they will be a force to reckon with at the Carver Division. We haven't seen them on the field since week four, um, mm -hmm. but good luck to Team 364, Team Fusion. And that's kind of the one of the fun things about um, the championship and just how FRC works with the withholding allowance and uh, um, prevalence of practice bots. They haven't been on the field since week four. It's going to be really interesting to see uh, what changes they make. And a lot of these teams that were kind of iffy teams, not that 364 is one of them, but a lot of these iffy teams that were maybe missing one of those one of those key um, elements have, have made those improvements and are ready to go in Houston. Uh, I legit think 364 is a top tier team, uh, especially in the Carver division. Uh, looking in where you know you, you might see 364 usurp 118 uh, in something of, of, a, of a higher end seat. Of course, you have uh, 330 uh, in the alliance in 1678. Um, a hot take, I think actually 1678 could go with 364 uh, as their first pick. 
uh, in the uh, Carver division. I would not be surprised to see that at all happen. Uh, of course, 330 is very powerful in that division as well, too. Uh, but really looking forward to uh, 364. Uh, I'll definitely have my eyes on them at the Houston Championship. Uh, a team, once again, they're in an area that is extremely underrepresented. I don't think a lot of people uh, really knew who they were until later on the season when they started making a lot more noise. And uh, can't wait to see uh, what they're going to do. I mean, it's very, very exciting. And Landon says from 364 that they bought a limelight at, at 100% now. So uh, be interested to see uh, well, how they turn out. But I, I full on, actually, I, I think uh, that they will win the division with Citrus Circuits uh, this year. I just have to, I just have to plug, because Tyler, you mentioned it. I have to plug the limelight. We bought uh, a limelight, or we had a, got a limelight this week on 3015. It, the difference it, it makes is truly astonishing. It's it, I was blown away when I saw some of the videos that our programmer sent us uh, of our practice robot on our practice field. The difference it makes is truly, uh, uh, it blew me away. So if they have one, I'm confident they are going to be uh, significantly better than their 29-2 and two record, which is seems hard to believe. But <laughs> the, the limelight is for real. It is very By the way, 987 will take some of those to give away on air now, too. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. We should actually. I, I it's my. I actually should reach out to them. We should give away some of those. Yeah, be pretty sweet. And it's always cool too, and seeing like the the voters' memory too, right? Like you said, the team hasn't competed since week four, but um, it's still fresh in our voters' minds. Mm -hmm. And I, I always like seeing that too. You know, seeing how, you know, I think teams that play recently kind of tend to, you know, um, stick out a little bit more. But a team that hasn't played in you know three four weeks, um, it's always great to see. For sure. All right, we're going to move along here. In the 17th spot, we have Team 4910. From Marietta, Georgia, it's East Cobb Robotics. They have an overall record of 44 and 12, and they were the winners of the Peachtree District Championship. So another one of our first-timers um, for this season on the top 25, East Cobb Robotics, was on the number two alliance twice through district play and would take finals and medals home both of the, um, these times, but this past weekend, it was their time for gold. They would take the number one seed with the 3.0 ranking score average and would take the win in six matches. 39-10 is great reach for the hatch placement. Uh, may not be the fastest robot out there, but is really good at getting to their scoring positions and just really placing consistently. So um, well done. Welcome to the top 25, um, and good luck in the hopper division. Um, they were recently um, in the round robin um, on Einstein um, at the Houston Championship in 2017. Um, so kind of know, know, got that little taste, knows what, it, knows what it's like, and uh, hopefully we'll get back there. So um, congratulations and good luck to East Cobb Robotics, 49-10. Yep, and great to see them take, uh, you know, two division finalists. I think they kind of fell under the radar a little bit, or uh, not division, uh, uh, district finalists, my apologies. Uh, but then they come in and, and win Peachtree, you know, against a very staunch uh, alliance with, with Otto uh, against them. And 11-02 uh, as well, I think, really showed uh, that this team is a force to be reckoned with uh, taking down those two teams. Mm, nice. For sure. All right. And uh, our last team before we take a, a giveaway for our Bathawks giveaway. Um, so, again, you type in satellite in the chat for your chance to win. And um, Justin's going to tell us about team 3476. From Irvine, California, it's Code Orange, 17 and 15 overall, and we're the winners, the Aerospace Regional. So obviously not the best record of uh, many of the teams in the top 25, but if their performance at Aerospace was any indication, there'll be more wins for Code Orange coming up. They were the 13th ranked team, but were picked by the number one, or picked first overall by 1678 at Aerospace, and they played phenomenal in the elimination rounds in using their turreted, ele turreted elevator, which is a weird thing to think about. Um, the turret elevator really caught me off guard this whole year, but they use it uh, really to great effect to use it to get around defense and scoring. So in helping 1678 and 2637 capture the regional win. So you can catch them in the hopper division in Houston. And good luck to Code Orange, 3476. That is a pretty cool arm. It kind of reminds me, uh, it is not quite, but like when I see them, it's like, oh, it's kind of like 971 last year a little bit. Like just all the articulation going on with mm -hmm. it. Uh, just look really cool. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think they're pretty appropriately placed where they uh, are as well, too, in 16. I have them in my top 20 in my own personal list. And, uh, uh, you know, Quarter Inch, I think, you know, once again, it's a team that uh, could they, you know, it, at Aerospace, it could have went with them, could have went with uh, 5012. Uh, and I'm sure Code Orange is very happy that 1678 uh, picked them. But Code Orange, I think, uh, even if they wouldn't have been picked, uh, they probably would have went second. It would have been interesting to see. Uh, mm -hmm. So, but a, a great team. And, I, you know, yeah, just watching this arm, mm -hmm. I don't think I'd want to go against this. So I, no. I understand Citrus's uh, justification for picking this team because there is no way I'd, I would want to go against this team. Yeah, they looked really good um, at that last regional there at the aerospace. And, yeah, 
if they're playing like that at, at divisions, then um, there's going to be really, yeah, they're going to go really, really far there. And I, I love it. It looks great. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.